Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little different than normal. I've gotten a few comments asking about how to poise a watch, so I figured I'd do a video on it. But before I begin, I want to advise against trying this if you don't have either a staking set or a lathe. The reason being that a bent balance pivot will bring a watch out of poise, and poising a balance with a bent pivot is just going to mask the problem and make repair more difficult in the future. With that said, let's take a look at our subject here. I have an 18 size Elgin that needs the balance poised. Dial up to pendant left are all fantastic, well within the original railroad timekeeping standard. But, once we get to pendant right, we see our issue. This watch has a total delta of around 30 seconds per day, which would be perfectly fine if this wasn't a railroad grade movement. Ideally, I'd like to get something like this to under a 15 second delta, which is what I'll be aiming for on this watch. The two ways to poise a watch are called static and dynamic poising. With dynamic poising, which is what I'll be doing here, you put the watch on the time grapher and record the rate and amplitude in all 10 positions. This allows you to see in real time how fast or slow the watch is running in each position, which gives you a much better idea of whether you need to add or remove weight to bring the positional rates together. And again, it's very important that you do this on a freshly serviced watch. That way you know for sure things like magnetism, old lubricant, dirt, or damaged parts aren't causing the rate difference. So, how do you know where to add or remove weight? Basically, with the amplitude over 220 degrees, the lightest area of a balance wheel will be running the fastest, and the heaviest area will be the slowest. You should also keep in mind how centered the regulator is, as this will also dictate whether you add or remove weight from the balance. On this watch, I had to move the arm from the center to slow the watch down, so adding weight will allow me to recenter the arm. So, if the pendant right position is the slowest position, you want to put the watch in that position and find the balance screw that sits directly below the balance staff when the wheel isn't running, which would be right here. Keep in mind that adding or removing weight from one screw will have the opposite effect on the screw 180 degrees from it. So, removing weight from the pendant right position to speed it up will actually slow pendant left down an equal amount. This is why it's important to get the rates of all 10 positions, so you know exactly how much weight to add or remove to bring the watch into poise. Because this watch is slowest at the pendant down right position, I'm going to add a timing washer to the pendant up left screw to both speed the down right position up and slow the watch down in general. Putting the watch in the down right position, I can see the screw I need to add weight to is this one, so I can now remove this screw and add a timing washer. In order to safely remove these screws, you're going to need a pin vise like this one. These allow you to safely grab the screw and unscrew it without the risk of deforming or snapping the screw head in half. You'll also need timing washers like these. Finding them for larger pocket watches can be a challenge, but they are a necessity for poising a watch. I know from experience that a washer from the 10 bottle will slow an 18 size watch down by about 10 to 15 seconds, so I'm going to add one to the previously mentioned screw. Here's the timing washer. Now I can add it to the screw like so and reinstall it into the balance wheel. So before adding the timing washer, the delta was around 30 seconds per day. Now the delta is 19 seconds per day across all six positions. 
After you get a watch under a 20 second delta, it's easier to start removing small amounts of weight from the screws to really dial in the poise. The best way to do so is using a screw undercutter like this one. These are tiny files that you can use to remove material from the underside of screws without altering their outward appearance. I know I've seen balanced screws crudely filed down on the outside, and it just doesn't look good or professional. So from this point, it's just finding the heaviest spot, removing weight from the screw, and repeating that process until you get the delta to whatever your standard is. Here's how it's running on the time grapher now that it's been poised. I didn't end up getting the regulator perfectly centered, but the watch is now running well within its original timekeeping standard. And that's dynamic poising. Generally, you can use dynamic poising over static poising as long as the delta is under 60 seconds across all positions. Once you go over that, it becomes easier to use static poising. Of course, to do so, you would need a poising tool like this one. With this, you take the hairspring off the balance and rest the pivots on the agate part of the jaws. Some of these have ruby jaws as well, and some have metal jaws. You generally want to stay away from those if you can, as they're almost never going to be perfectly smooth. But with these, the balance will naturally rest on its heaviest spot, which makes poising the larger differences easier. I also want to mention that this process took me a little over an hour to do, which is why you really won't see a watchmaker doing this to your watch unless you specifically ask them to. It can be a very time-consuming and risky process, but it's definitely rewarding to someone like myself, and if you want your watch to keep better time, it's definitely something that you can have done. I will say again to anyone watching this video and attempting to poise their watch, if you don't have a staking set and or a lathe, this is really not something you should mess around with, as there are numerous things that can affect the positional timekeeping of a watch. This is something that most modern watchmakers rarely, if ever, do, so please keep that in mind as it's easy to mess things up if you don't really know what you're doing. I know a 10 minute YouTube video can make things look a lot easier than they are, so remember it took me a little over an hour to bring the delta from 30 to under 10 seconds a day, and I poise watches regularly and have worked on probably close to 500 pocket watches like this. So thank you all for watching, I hope this was informative or at the very least entertaining, and I'll see you next time.